In this video, I will show you how to use part markers. Part markers are these colored boxes around some of the bar numbers. They have two main purposes. To control when drum fills are played and when A or B substyles are played. The blue markers indicate substyle A and the green markers indicate substyle B. So for example, this Pop Promise Real style will play a different groove in the first half of the song than it will in the second half. You can add or remove part markers by simply clicking on a bar number. Click once to add an A part marker, click again to change it to a B part marker, or click again to remove it. You can also just hit the P key on your keyboard to do the same thing. So I will add another A part marker before the B section. This is what substyle A sounds like. And this is what substyle B sounds like. Notice that the drummer played a fill just before the second part marker. You can control even more of what the drummer does by right clicking on a part marker. For example, I will change the drum groove at bar 9, and then add another change at bar 13. The red lines around the bar numbers indicate that these bars have drum groove changes. So for the first eight bars, the snare drum only hits on beat four. Then it plays on beats two and four. Then the drummer switches to an open hi-hat before switching to the B substyle groove, which uses the ride cymbal instead. 